Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back once again. Revy AP here with another custom DIY painting tutorial. Today I'd like to give a big shout out to Michelle and Gino over at Ghost Fox Toys. They're the ones that produced these resin art toys of Pinto the Pigeon that I'm going to be painting. Uh, I'm going to be doing this one and my wife Natalie is going to be doing the white one. We picked this up at the last Thursday's Art Crawl, downtown El Paso. Uh, Ghost Fox Toys had a exhibit down here at the Art Museum, at the Art Museum's uh, gift gallery. And uh, that's where we picked these guys up. <clears throat> they came with this list of recommended instructions. Uh, it says, before you paint, uh, to spray on to the smooth surface some of this uh, acrylic clear coat uh, that will be a matte coating that the paint will stick better to. Uh, and then they also recommend that if we want to sculpt additional uh, layers onto these pigeons uh, to use this uh, Milliput two-part epoxy clay. Uh, it comes in two pieces, uh, two tubes, and you mix it together and then it dries without baking, so you don't have to uh, worry about heating your resin uh, art toy past its point of endurance. So uh, let's go ahead and get into this and uh, see what they come out as. Thank you. 
All right, we're done painting, and I just topped these guys off with a coat of gloss. So this is gonna conclude the customization painting tutorial for this couple of ghost fox toys, Pinto the Pigeon resin art toys. <laughs> this is the one that I painted. Uh, I used this design with mandala dots, and uh, I like these paint colors, the way they go together, so I tend to use these paint colors a lot. This one is the one that my wife painted. So she used a uh, parakeet motif to make her Pinto into Pinto the parakeet. So thanks for watching everybody. Stay tuned, we had a lot of fun doing these, so we're gonna do some more in the future, as soon as we can get some more art toys. So uh, we'll see you next time.